Welcome to another episode of Real Beauty, Real Food, and Real Life. I'm your host, SJ, and we are going to be doing Meal Prep 101, Episode 3. All right, let's get started. All right, so I got a smoked turkey that I paid $11 for. You can buy the turkey, smoke it yourself, or you can take it to someone that smokes it. We're going to be doing a lot of rice today. So I got this big box of rice. It only cost me $5 at Sam's Club. You don't have to use this. This is the easy rice. Um, you can get the dollar rice. Or, I am giving you an option, you can use the squash. You know that you bake it in the oven, and then you um, use a spoon and spoon it out. So it's like a really thin angel hair type pasta. They have shredded lettuce. Yes, it's small, but it makes the salad a lot easier to deal with. We're going to do cabbage. And I needed some onions. And it was easier to get the bag of onions for $1.69, which I ranged it up to $2. And then set the other ones aside. And tomatoes. Two bucks for the carton. And then we have green onions, which were a dollar. Cucumber and lemons that I'm going to use for water, which were a dollar each also. So, meal prep today is definitely, looks like it's under $25. And yes, it's going to last you a while. Just looking at this turkey by itself, there's many things you can do for it. I am pretty much going to stick to a stir fry because I think I'm wanting to do rice. But I'm also wanting to do a stir fry and I'm going to make it an angel hair pasta. I'm just going to use the same stuff and then just kind of switch it out. And that is going to be my meal prep for the week, including the overnight oats. And of course, you know the salad is in there because we're making a salad. That's why the tomatoes are there. So, let's get so started. I have washed my green onions and started cutting them up because I didn't get the ones that were already pre-cut. And then I got my onions going. So this meal prep is going to take a little bit of time because I have to prep these little things here. Okay, so while we are waiting on the squash to finish cooking, uh, I've taken that one bag and opened it up and spread it. And it made four bowls for the salad. And now I'm going to add some tomatoes, which I got to wash. Carrots, because I had them from last time. And then just some miscellaneous stuff. And let me wash my tomatoes. Alright, so I've added the tomatoes. And with that little container of tomatoes, I actually still had enough for two more bowls. But I pretty much want to just show you that you can do this with one bag. I'm going to add some carrots from last week's meal prep. Raisins. And that was actually from my... Uh, overnight oats last week we did some bacon well these are the couple of pieces that was left over because we didn't use all of our bacon last week so I uh, put it in a ziploc bag and put it in the refrigerator and that's gonna be our salad minus the egg all right so we're back all right so you remember earlier I said we're gonna do the spaghetti squash to make it like a uh, Pasta stir fry? Well, real food. I didn't realize that I didn't have the right one. So, when I got the scraping, I'm like, oh, wait, it's not doing that. So, basically, all I got is some vegetables now. So, we won't be doing the one with the uh, pasta because I got the wrong one. If you uh, put the uh, extra virgin olive oil on there, put it in the oven 25 minutes like this. It tastes good. I put a little Maggie on there. Oh, yeah. That's my vegetable. So, real food. Things happen. How did I get the wrong squash? I don't know. Mm. But I like that. So, we're going to set that to the side. That's just going to have to be another deal. Go ahead and do our stir fry. I got all my turkey cut up. Well, I got most of it. I use that minute rice. You can use regular rice. And I got my extra virgin olive oil. These are things you normally keep anyway. Put a little bit of that in the pan. 
And then, of course, I have uh, the little veggies that I cut up earlier today. I have onions, green onions, and jalapenos. Get your fire hot. If you want a more of a fresher uh, taste with your veggies, put them in toward the end then. Me, I'm going to throw it all in there. <laughs> and it's uh, smoked turkey. Awesome. Here should be getting hot. I'm going to put some of this rice in here. Yeah, I cooked extra. I figured out I, I kind of screwed up this, the other stuff, but that's okay. And I'm only just going to do a little bit right now. And, of course, I don't have it hot enough, so I'm going to turn it up. I don't own a wok. I used to own a wok, but even when I used it, it was just, it's not for me. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we'll be putting it in with a wok. This would be already fired up. Go ahead and pour a little bit more in there. I'm gonna save that other uh, rest of that rice for something else. I think that's gonna be something else I want to do with. So you can also uh, use that rice as your breakfast. Fix it up. All right. So I'm still waiting on it. It's getting hot. The key to me to shrimp to rice, however you make it. Is to get a hot enough pan, and mine ain't hot enough. But I am to the point where I am ready to go. So I'm gonna put this stuff out there. I got jalapenos on here too, so you don't have to do jalapenos. You can add some bean sprouts in there too if you like. It's starting to sizzle now. I need a little bit more olive oil. And the one thing I probably forgot to tell you is you can grab a couple of eggs too. But I did it! You definitely can season it. Don't think you don't have to season your rice. You can season it if you like it. I'm going to use Maggie. They started to sell this in our stores now. You just could only get it out of the country. And then when you get it out of the country, if you order it on like eBay, it was like $10. They sell it in our store for $1.79. And I love it! It's like the best thing ever. You can use it, utilize it like a chicken bouillon soup, you know, type things when you get that. Except that has way more flavor. So if you ever get a chance to try that, yeah, do it! Alright, so now it's starting to sizzle in there. We start to mix everything around. Now, with stir fry, it's your option of how dark you want um, your rice to be. You know, if you want it to complete look. Yeah, keep it going, keep it going. The other key to it, soy sauce. Soy sauce does it. Oops. You can put as much in there as you think you need. Don't put a whole lot because soy sauce does have a lot of sodium. So if you're not going to get your water in that day, don't do it. Maggie down here just waiting on something to fall. Now you can take, um, like if you have a bag of frozen peas, you can take a few pieces of the frozen peas and throw them in there. I do got some carrots. So I could actually, if I want to get a little bit more color, which I could do that. I build a... I build a little space in between, in between mine. Let's make sure you can see it. There we go. In between it. And put it in the middle. Let it cook up. Now, one thing about these eggs that I don't like with stir-fry is that I can't never see them in my food and I always have to ask for extra egg. I don't know what it is about them not wanting to give you enough extra egg. 
you should be able to see the egg. As much as they use, you should be able to see it in your food. So I try to cook mine if I can. And then I start stirring it in. I want to see it. And so normally it probably would have been a little bit more cooked. But now you can start trying to see your little egg in there. And there you go. Stir fry. Now you can do it with or without the meat. So to make meal prep easier this week, since I don't have the spaghetti squash like I thought I did, I could go ahead and scoop a few of these up now. And then I can add my turkey to the rest. But I'm trying to do like the, the one meal type stir fry thing. So I'm going to do it this way. And you put as much meat in there as you want. But I'm going to do mine uh, a little different. I'm kind of disappointed I really didn't get the squash spaghetti. I got squash. I should have got squash spaghetti. Don't know what I was thinking. I think I was amazed at the store I went to that I normally don't shop for veggies that had it. Squash, and I'm like, oh, well, let me get it. Not thinking, oh, this is not spaghetti squash. All right, so I put all my little turkey in there. And so this is going to be my meal prep for a couple of the day. Okay, so you know how I do my meal prep. I don't scoop a whole lot in there. I try to stay within a small amount. And then I eat maybe two or three of them in a day, along with my oat, overnight oats and then my salad as another meal. And then sometimes I'll have a protein bar or a protein shake. So that'll give me, that should give me six meals or six times that I'm eating so to build up my metabolism. Again, I'm trying to meal prep for what I think works for me. For you, it may be something different. But I'm also trying to enjoy my food. Alright, so. What I'll do with this one. And I don't cook it. I'm not going to cook it completely brown. Because I don't I don't want it brown. I don't want the darkness. If that's the case, I'll use brown rice. So I'll scoop that in there. And these are the BPA ones as well. And so they contain heat. They handle heat. They handle microwave. They handle freezing. Not all of these containers handle freezing. So be careful when you get these things. Now see, this will be my serving right there. And as you can see from what's left, I still got enough for another three or four days. I, I work a four-day shift, so I usually only have to do four. But I, I most of the time prep for five just in case anyway. So, there you have it. That is the meal prep today. With the uh, stir fry. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm screwing this up. But this is real life. Huh? What the heck? You know how that go. But I'm okay with it if you are. Because you remember, you are at real life. This happens to be real beauty. And real food. Alright. So I'm done with that portion of it. So if you're still watching, thank you. <laughs> now I gotta get some more out. More EVVO. Remember Rachel Ray when she's EVVO? Because <laughs> I have jalapenos. Uh oh. My son likes the jalapeno one, so I'm going to do that. And get that stirring. And I'm going to try this while I'm waiting. Yes, I am. I just want to try it. Oh yeah, mmm. And I taste the egg. Mmm. 
Oh yeah. That one is going to be spicy. Here we go. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> We wanted shrimp. All right, I'm gonna add shrimp. All right, so I'm gonna add some onions. See, I cut them up, onions. And green peppers. And then we're just going to let this stir. Cook. Cook it for a little bit. And while I'm doing that, I'm not supposed to be eating the meal prep, am I? Hmm. Got to. I'm hungry today. So... Hopefully, um, by now, if you haven't started following me, please, subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything just to click that button. Click. <laughs> if you like the real food portion of real beauty, real life, real food, that's another reason to click. Mmm. Rice is good. I know, I ain't supposed to be eating and cooking, huh? I mean, I'm, you know, my plate. So, hopefully if you get a chance, check out some of my other videos. This is real food. So when I messed up that squash, I didn't have a problem with telling y'all. Um, we gotta move on to something else. Mmm. This is good. I gotta say so myself. <laughs> mm. When shrimp is done, it turns kind of pink. So, I'm just gonna cook it in here until it gets done. So now we're gonna have more than one type of meal prep. Mm. I think I'm gonna take that uh, squash and then cut it up to go in here with the other stuff. Oh my god. This is really good. Mm. Shrimp is going to be even better. over to the side. I'm going to get a cutting board. While we're waiting on that, we're going to meal prep these things here. Get them all ready. Because this is going to be our vegetable. So now, we still got uh, cabbage left over. So that will be probably for the next time's meal prep. Or you can do the cabbage snacks, which I'll put that down there in the description below, because that's what I was going to do with them anyway. And you can serve that as a snack. Load our... There we go. So we're going to meal prep right now, right here. Nice and full. And that's going to be our meal prep. Okay, so you want to take the last of the rice and go ahead and pour it on in there to the shrimp mixture. And put that over there to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and start stirring it and in. And we're going to mix that on so in there. So what's going to happen here is that we're going to have two different types of stir fry. One might be 
the turkey and the other one will be the shrimp and so we'll have some variety and just get that all mixed in there all right so i'm going to start prepping the containers starting with the turkey fried rice i'm going to go ahead and scoop two scoops of that in there so that's probably equivalent to about a cup and a half of rice and then we're going to add our squash and then this is what our little plate will look like all right so we're prepping the rest of these containers might as well finish doing a turkey since it's already done and you know what let's stir up the rest of that shrimp fried rice stirring. get that going there and it's, oops ah. damn it dropped a piece of shrimp but i picked it up and no five second roll here it goes straight to the trash because maggie might have ran over it <laughs> i just didn't want her to shrimp. eat it all right so i'm going to finish uh, filling the trays up with the turkey fried rice um, that's three right there and of course I ate one so it would have been four of those um, I do got more rice in my shrimp so I should get a little extras out of there but this stuff is really good I'm really impressed that that smoked turkey made a difference this might be a new fried rice anyway we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, vegetables in there and then we'll close that container up and finish working with the shrimp fried rice all right so we got the turkey fried rice prepped up now we'll start some veggies and then we're going to start plating up the shrimp fried rice so there is definitely going to be some variety in here okay so while we're waiting on the fried shrimp fried rice to finish i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up my little area i'm gonna take that plate that i did have that turkey fried rice on and scoop all the food in there because i am not trying to feed maggie so i want to make sure i catch all the little crumbs that i can catch and sweep them and kind of clean my area up and get ready to do the shrimp all right look at little maggie running around in the background just looking for the food all right so we got another plate it's clean as you can see and we're going to go ahead and stir up the shrimp fried rice. Go ahead and get it marinated and mix flavors and not try to burn it. Oh, but one thing we do need to get is some soy sauce. So let's get the soy sauce in there because soy sauce is what makes fried rice yummy. <laughs> yes, it does. All right, so we'll get that in there real good. And then let's put that away first before we move any further and finish stirring it up mixing it in so we can get the flavors good on there and I'm sorry to get the videos a little bit more detailed than normal but you know hey I was just trying something different you know how we do real beauty real food and this is what happens in real life so we do it that way and that's it for meal prep thank you for watching this is your girl SJ here with another episode of Real Beauty, Real Food, how you prepare it at home for real, y'all, in real life. Please subscribe. If you don't like, hit, hit the negative and comment. Don't hit the negative and don't comment because then you're just doing it because I said, if you don't like, hit the negative. You know we have to do it. We're out. So I eat this and this and a day, this, this, and this.